good morning again from Roger and Nadine. Uh, and Little Larbar, too, has joined us in the car. Guys, we have a, um, a tragic story to tell. So, last night in yesterday's Vlogmas, I took you guys on the hunt for the beep. And I was like, this weird beeping has been happening in the basement, and I don't know where it's coming from. So we figured out where it was coming from, basically like a locked door. Um, and then we woke up this morning to the smell of gas. Also, um, aside from the beeping, there's these little like loud thumps that almost sounds like somebody is like slamming a couch into a wall, like every 30 seconds or so. It's just like boom. And it sounds like little explosions now that we think of it. And so the beeping, the thumping. This morning we woke up to the smell of gas. Yeah, and like a carbon monoxide alarm or some shit. Yeah. Like some alarm like that going off and then like clearly the scent of some sort of toxic shit. Okay, as we were saying before the camera died, basically we fled the premises. <laughs> we woke up and uh, both had a headaches and like, I was like, do you smell that? And he was like, yeah, and I, I feel kind of sick. And then we went into the bathroom and the smell was just like so potent in there. And normally it smells like a little off in the bathroom, but it smelled like fucking something wrong, you know? So we went before we left the building and talked to the manager and we were like, hey, you should go check on that, you know? And she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You have rent? Rent? <laughs> Jesus. So that's LA landlords for you, you know? Oh, there, there might be a possible gas leak, <laughs> some kind of an explosion happening in the basement. But where's the red though? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> um, so, anywho, shout out to Alexis and Stefan because since I left, now we have a reason to go over to somebody else's house because um, Alexis left the door unlocked for me to go and get my laptop today. And then she's gonna come home from her shoot just to us sitting on her couch being like, hey, we were afraid our apartment was gonna blow up. We're gonna kind of hang out here. <laughs> Hope that's okay. So yeah, we packed our belongings and left. And got our most important item. <laughs> oh, the veggie boy. Uh, being at Alexis and Stefan's without Alexis or Stefan. Nothing like being in our, our second home. Right, Larry? I actually fed him here. And uh, he's not really eating it because he wants to eat Confucius's food. Hello, ma'am. Are you in bad mood today, as always? Yes, very bad growling. She's growling and hissing. Oh, there it is. Larry, that is not She does not like you, okay? She doesn't think you're cute steak girl like <laughs> I do. Alright guys, I just edited my vlog from yesterday and have it exporting and going up. Um, but we're just down here in Steph's room. It's literally so enchanted around here. It's like the most beautiful room ever. Am I right? So we're both gonna take a nice enchanted nap, honestly, because we both still have freaking headaches from those weird fumes in the apartment this morning. Like my head is just pounding, but it's like from the back back here. It's not like normally uh, where my headaches are sourced from. So I think something's up, but we're hoping we can sleep it off a little bit and then uh, get back to you guys in a little bit. <gasps> Good night. <laughs> Hello. Hello, turkey heads. What's going on? I'm Burpee McGee. <laughs> we woke up from our nap and um, we may or may not have clogged stuff in soil. Baby! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> we already told him and he was like, well... <laughs> I'm on the way home from the airport right now anyways, so <laughs> we would have been busted either way and uh, He said he called a plumber <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to see Steph. Um, I guess we're just gonna hang out and wait for him to return um, Because we don't really have a way of contacting Finley's landlord to see when the the odor will go away so Yeah, my lips are so dry right now, dude. It's so freaking cold outside now me saying it's cold when it's like 55 <laughs> also they have a cat and it's making my eyes itch so bad <sighs> i have to go find that allergy medication immediately larry he's like you're telling me i already took my hey we came to get some chinese freaking food we took our man on a date this is my man did you have a nice flight today you just slept 
Oh, you read. Okay, okay. We're eating some some good some good food and uh, having some nice chats. All right, guys. We actually just came back home, and everything is good and sorted now. We came back, and there was no gas smell in the hallway, no beeping, no weird, mysterious thumping. None of it is happening anymore. So. We're very happy to hear that. <laughs> and Finley actually just went to Home Depot to get some things for a project. And I'm just sitting here reading some comments on yesterday's Vlogmas, about to watch something on the Xbox, maybe a little Bob's Burgers, who really knows. I told him I didn't wanna come to uh, Home Depot because I was just like having a bit of a headache literally ever since this morning when we woke up with the fumes and shit. Um, and it was kind of lasting through dinner where we just went with Stefan and whatnot too So when I came home took some Excedrin migraine feeling back to myself my old ways It's literally the only thing that helps me I, I've tried so many different things to help my my headaches But Excedrin is always the winner always helps the most but anywho's guys um, I am just gonna probably chill for the rest of the evening hang out and I think we are going on a trip to Oregon tomorrow, a little road trip. It's so funny that we can plan these so last minute now because we have a car so we don't have to like book the car a day in advance through the Turo app or whatever. Although that was a great app, honestly. Shout out to freaking Turo, I wish they sponsored me. But I don't even need their sponsorship anymore now that we have the Toyota Tundra. That's who I really need to sponsor me. Oh, I thought somebody was screaming and then I forgot that I'm making tea. It's dark in here. I always say that phrase like that because my mom told me this story about my older brother. Some of you might not even know that I have an older brother. He's 24 and lives in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. His name is Colin. Anywho, when Lindsay was in my mom's stomach, she said that Colin came up to her one day and like just put his hands on her belly and just goes, it's, it's dark in there. <laughs> so now whenever it's dark somewhere, I say that shit. So funny. I just put you guys in a cabinet. Also shout out to Kurt Montgomery for this horny mug. I think that their shop is so funny. It's like all of Kurt's illustrations and stuff on just like t-shirts and mugs and shit. Um, shop Daddy's Day Off, I think is the link. I'll put it here though. Uh, but when I got my last like little peachy, peachy guy tattoo, he gave me a little tote bag with some just like of his merch items in it. And I was like, hell yeah, brothers. Love Daddy's Day Off. I'm having a little bit of honey lavender stress relief from Yogi and just gonna throw some honey in there as well. Honey lavender with extra honey, please. In life, don't create just an impression, create trust. Thank you Yogi T for the motivational message. This kettle is so stupid, it just like leaks everywhere, like it just leaked all over the counter. Ugh, I miss my electric kettle, my Breville, but she's in storage for the time being. Until we reunite again. Cheers. Okay guys, we just planned out our route here that we're gonna be going to on the road trip. All of these damn towns. But yeah, this is the general area. We're starting in Ashland again and we got our Airbnb for there and then we're just gonna kind of wing it from this point on. But yeah, I think we're gonna leave in the morning so I need to hit the friggin' hay. It's like almost 2 a.m. That's really all I've been doing tonight is uh, planning that. And then I watched a little TV, watched some Bob's Burgers, and then I followed it with Atlanta. Um, I watched like three episodes of Atlanta. I wanted to start it over and just watch it all the way through again. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, Stan. That's the current watch after I finished freaking Shameless. And then my sister said something about Shameless season eight in one of her vlogs, and I was like, what? There's a season eight, who even knew? Anywho's, I'm just blabbering about shows now. I'm gonna hit the freaking hay. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you wanna know when Vlogmas goes up first. And until the next episode, stay smiling. Bye guys. Heavy on my mind, all my friends lost. They couldn't read the signs, I didn't wanna talk. I tell them my location and I ain't wanna walk. Truth is, since a youth kid, thought it was a face, thought it'd be like the freight poof. Gone, but it's still gone.